He did not remain at the scene of the death. He left. He claims he suffered a mental blackout and knew nothing more until he found himself back in his own apartment in San Francisco several hours later. You may accept that or not. Or you may believe that having once again allowed someone to die, he could not face the tragic result of his own weakness and ran away. That has nothing to do with your verdict. It is a matter between him and his own conscience. Now, from the evidence of the state of mind of Madeleine Elster prior to a death, from the manner of a death, and from the post-mortem examination of the body showing the actual cause of her death, you should have no difficulty in reaching your verdict, gentlemen. Uh, you may retire if you wish. Thank you. The jury finds that Madeline Elster committed suicide while of unsound mind. Her verdict will be so recorded, dismissed. All right, Scotty, let's go. Do you mind if I speak to him for a minute? Oh, go ahead. Scotty. Sorry, Scotty, that was rough. He had no right to speak to you like that. It was my responsibility. I shouldn't have got you involved. No, there's nothing you have to say to me. I'm getting out, Scotty, for good. I can't stay here. I'm going to wind up her affairs and mine, get away as far as I can. Europe, perhaps. I probably never will come back. Well, goodbye, Scotty. Is there anything I can do for you before I go? There was no way for them to understand. You and I know who killed Madeline. Come on, Scotty, let's get out of here. 